Welcome to another live commentary random battle against random people because Precious Gaming stopped talking to me. I'm, I'm just kidding, he's busy. Anyway, it's just another random battle between me and a random guy who joined my game. And it's going to be an interesting one. I'm playing as Pontus and he's playing as the Numidians. Now, neither of us have ever used our factions. I've never fought a battle as Pontus. I have fought against Pontus but never as Pontus. And my enemy, he's playing as the New Midians. Now, I don't know too much about the New Midians, but what I do know is they have some excellent light infantry who are immune to most attrition. And also, on top of that, there are the dreaded New Midian Legionnaires. I've gone as Pontus, who have the Bronze Shield Pikes, who are probably second only to the Silver Shield Pike in the Middle East. But I believe uh, the Greeks and the Macedonians tend to rule the Pike world anyway. So I've got these all these guys in Phalanx, of course, to uh, basically create a very strong front. Now I'm not I'm not really I'm not going to be like the guy who we fought in the last episode. I'm not going to sit around and just be on defense. I'm going to be I'm going to go on offense as well. I've got some hillmen who are just some nice hardy um, sort of like peasant-like units, but they're, they're okay, I guess. As eight into a unit. I have Thracian mercenaries who are basically Bastanane from from Thrace, so uh, these guys are decent heavy infantry, a bit hard to control, but and a bit bit low armor, but they do pack a punch. They do have a shield which keeps missiles away. Three Cappadocian cavalry who who are excellent lancing cavalry, definitely good shock cavalry. Not as good as the uh, cataphracts fielded by other Mi Middle Eastern factions, but still pretty powerful. I have my general, of course, and as my little pack-a-punch I have brought one unit of scythed chariots these guys can cleave through a lot of things however there is the danger that they can be frightened off and basically start running amok so I, if they do I need to make sure my men are very far away before they all get sliced up anyway I think he just said good luck have fun so I will just say the same um, let's do this Visa, yeah my spelling's a bit shit, but whatever. Let's just do this shit. Right. Let's see what he's brought. Now, both of us are just experimenting with our army builds. He's brought... I knew he'd bring the New Median Legions, because they're probably the best... Well, not the best unit New Media has. Brought some devil... I mean, not devil cam camelry, but they may as well be devils, because they're going to be... Uh, they're going to play hell my Cappadocian Lancers. He's got General's Bodyguard and more camels bringing up the flank, and he's already on the move, so let's bring it ourselves up and he has one extra force hiding over here just some um this is either his oh, i might have brought two generals units or do they have long I i'm not i'm not too clued up on the new midian uh, build but all right i'm gonna bring my pikes forward and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a nice wide battle line just to limit his movement so if we create a wide line we can take control we can basically go for a land grab here and hillmen right hillmen are equipped with spears i'm not quite sure if they have a bonus to cavalry but his cavalry is on the move so right you know, i want you guys to be ready to deal with any incoming cavalry threat we could take the cavalry out fine what i'm worried about actually is his cavalry just because they have a bonus against horses so these are like these are like mounted counter cavalry and he's brought a lot of them as well so what he could do is he could actually be very devastating against me. So uh, I'm keep my bastonani hidden so he doesn't know the fair yet actually. Um, sometimes this game tends to give away where I've hidden units, but I think that only happens in sieges, so I don't need to worry about that. My units should be hidden from view. I'm, my land grab's going good, but I know he's going to try and bring these cavalry round to flank. His general, right? His either his general or other unit. He's just uh, creeping around. I need to get these scythe chariots into his legions. So what I need to do is I need to secure a good battle line, then start pushing forward. He's going to try and flank with his camels. So uh, the bastanane will probably I'll deploy them to deal with them. But for now, it's just going to be on. It's just going to be on the bronze shield pikes. These these are basically my toughest units. So these guys, you know, they're going to be doing the brunt, the, the bulk of the fighting. Need to make sure this battle line is secure though. I mean, they're getting there at least. Taking a time over it, but they're getting there. However, those guys, they... I think, they's, I think they're creeping off, so... I don't quite know what he's up to with those. But I'm still forming my battle line. However, just because I... I don't quite trust them. Just... 
Just create a flank there. Let's let's try let's try and create like a ring fence formation and where a shield from. He's bringing his camp. Right, he's, he's retreating. And right, I'm not gonna say he knew he'd retreat, but I get it wouldn't be a smart idea to charge into a phalanx. However, he's I think he's gonna be using us that that general's bodyguard to get to front. So right, Cappadocian cavalry. I want you to prevent this shit. I'm gonna use a hillman for later. I think because. That's it. That is either his general or it's someone else. I mean, I don't see a general there. He's just using the bodyguard unit as extra as extra cavalry force. Because I'm guessing the Numidians are restricted to mostly having camels. So obviously he needs to vary it out of it. I'm guessing his general is protected by the legions. I mean, I think I get yeah, various right. His general is under protection from his legions. So how do we do this one? I think he's just spotted, yeah, he's just spotted the Cappadocians, right, the Cappadocian cavalry is going to keep him away. These guys are just, these guys are just prowling around, just trying to, let's, um, let's bring the battle line forward a bit, let's start putting a pressure, pressure on this cooker, actually. But, what are those guys up to? But they have a long shield cavalry right now, I know. Guys, quickly redeploy. I know what he's doing. He's going for a flank. Right. Let's stop that. You two chase him off. See if see that he doesn't see that he doesn't do that. You two start coming forward. Start start threatening his legions. Create a nice wide battle line. We're gonna basically we're we're gonna land grab. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna land grab. You guys, right, start scaring him with your pikes. He's retreating, he right. He does what he does, right, he, he's, he's going to try and pick and choose his engagements, but... Guys, get into formation, get, get into formation, come on guys, you can do better than that. You need to be in formation if you're going to engage, that's what you need to do. Right, Cappadocian cataphracts, get there, get ready. I think they, these guys will be useful for punching a hole in his Armenians as well. Hillmen, you, cut, you start coming forward now, you're going to be an auxiliary force. Scythe chariots, you, you can move. As, as long as we control as long as we control the rear of the pikes, we can start moving things forward. I'm gonna keep the bastonanes back. They're gonna be they're gonna be my ace in the hole. That's what we're gonna be in case I get forced onto a defensive. He's right. I right, you're gonna go? No, right. He's playing with that's what he's do he's playing with me. He's gonna pick it he's gonna he's gonna he's he's waiting for the exact moment because these guys are not marching in sync. So that's what he's doing. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna sniff around the flanks, see what he can have, and what he can have. He's noticed I've there are three batches of hillmen, which he could break. Hillmen don't have the best morale in the world, better than that of the Eastern infantry, but it's not, it's not exactly brilliant morale. And now, he's now he's got my guys on on going backwards. Ah, God, God, God! It's like I said in the uh, battle I play with Precious Gaming a few, few, uh, few episodes ago. Mobility gives you so much control, but come on, get in there, get those camels engaged. Let's start, let's start bringing in a few casualties. Come on, come on, come on, come on! No, treated him just at the last minute, and has someone engaged? That's engagement music. No, no one's engaged. Right. Still not engaged, but come on, come on, come on! We can get those camels. I go on, go on, go on. Yes, he's ah. First kill goes to me. <laughs> first kill goes to me. Right, and oh, more bronze shield. Right, let's corral these things there. Let's corral them. Let's let's herd them up, kill them, make it a clean kill. He he's adjusted his legionary line. He's getting ready for me. Hillmen, you know what? Have have the legionaries waste their pillums on the hill, man. Let's do that. Let's see. Let's see if he's smart enough to know when to use a you when to use a pillum. Do you use it on a strong unit or do you just waste it on killing fodder? Let's see how smart he is on that one. You guys keep corralling. Cappadocians, right, you're in a comfortable position at the minute. You can come forward a bit more. Other bronze shield pikes. Start start pestering his camels there. We because he may be he may be trying to lead me around, but he's leading me directly to his general, so I think I am currying a slight advantage here, but what of us? That's his long shield cavalry, right? You guys You guys keep terrorizing them. You keep them busy. 
I'm bringing more of these. It's like a big, it's like a big, actually, you know, when you look at it from above, it's like I'm looking at a giant comb here, and he is all the nits. I'm, no, I'm just kidding. This, this guy is actually really cool, by the way. We just had a really nice conversation in the pre-game lobby. So, you know, this guy's a, this guy's a cool dude, and yeah, he's good, right, he, he knows my Hillman are exposed. He's gonna go for him. He's gonna he's gonna try and get an easy kill. Hillman, uh, semi decent against cavalry. Go on, go on, go on. I'm gonna try and engage him here. No, right. He's really trying to pick a choose his engagement, but he's going. Oh, and it's he's got his way at last, and they've just broken. Bloody hell. Those guys didn't take a lot of breaking. There we go. All that. All that poking around my flanks has paid off in the end for him. Right, guys, reform. He's got a lot of cavalry out in the field. He's gonna, he's gonna try and kill whatever he wants. Let's just bring the map a bit more zoomed in so we can sort of see what's going on. Get into those legionaries. Start crumbling them. Lead the Numidian legionaries are not very good, by the way. They're only a, they're about the same level as a principes. And principes are actually. Still quite low tier, but right, he's bringing all his cavalry in now, and the hillmen have broken. Their morale is not brilliant. That is their biggest failing, to be honest. They're they're good at reading terrain, but they're not good at anything else. Cappadocians, right? Cappadocians. There's a god. It's it's a cavalry apocalypse here in a way. He's got all these camels. Yeah, the Numidians are quite mobile people. He's got dev. He's got desert infantry just appearing now, so Yes. He's playing a cunning game here. Cappadocians, they are weak. You can you can try and take them at least. I know they're spears, but let's just try try and take what we can out of it. Let's try and spread out. Just I'm just I'm going to just try and use their sheer shock value to try and get some favour. Scythe chariots, we desperately need you now. Let's bring the scythe chariots in. Let's bring in the big let's bring in the big guns. We definitely need them. Right, Cappadocians. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to charge and retreat. So you got to get the retreating thing done. But now this is where I could start getting things to go my way, or not? Because here we go. The camels are going to go in my back. Don't break, guys, for fuck's sake! Don't. Oh no! Come on! As if you're breaking, man. Who'd have thought that high tier, fucking high tier pikemen would have such a shitty morale value? Like seriously, their morale is bloody trash! Ah, uh, my scythe chariots are now just cutting up all my own men. Right. Scythe chariots, get in there, do whatever you can, because right now we have got a, just a big scrum, and that is not what I want. I can't control a scrum. I need a clear, organised battle. And, oh god, fucking shit show! This is not going well at all, right? Bastanana, we need you! You're my emergency reinforcements. Start moving up. Oh, I didn't know that I deployed him on the other side of the map. General, you get in there. You're going to do your part now. You have to do your part because I am getting fucked here. I'm getting fucking fucked in the ass. Bronze shield. Right, we're taking out a big chunk of his cover, at least with his bronze shields. Keep contributing. Don't... No, they're broke. They're fucking broke. You had over 90 men left in your unit and you broke. What a shit show. What a fucking shit show of morale here. You guys are absolutely horrible fucking trash soldiers. You know that. You guys, you are, you, your discipline has just failed you so hard. Like, that is the definition of undisciplined, yeah. That is just the definition of no discipline. That is just terrible. Absolutely terrible. That is just back of... That is like washing out with a bath water, down the plug. Absolutely, horrifically terrible morale. That is not how you fight a battle. That is just... That is how you lose a battle. I mean... I can't control anything. It's just a sea of banners that are nearly the same colour as well. It's just... Man! Pontus, man! I thought these guys were supposed to be like the big dogs of the uh, Middle East, along with the Seleucids, but no, 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 no! Their morale, man! Their discipline! Their discipline is just terrible! This is not how it, you win! This is not how you win. I'm just going to have to take whatever kills I can here. I just... It's already a clear defeat for me, unfortunately, here. 
But alright, let's just charge in, try and take what I can from these legions. Come on, you can break from them. They're only new midi- Yes! Come on, I broke some- No, I didn't break from them. It was my guys who were breaking, of course, because obviously... Discipline is something that just doesn't exist in this army. I can't, I can't flank around the, these guys, by the way. He's got, he's got spears in his behind. He knows what to do. He, he knows how to keep his flanks secure, and that's annoying. Bastanane, you get in there quickly, and you do whatever the hell you can, because this battle has gone to shite. So I have chariots are trying to do something, at least. They're trying to slice up some cavalry, however we're being engaged by the long ship. Right, General, you can take them. Come on, General. I actually, upgra I actually, I actually upgraded... Yes! General has been killed and his men lose <laughs> Good, 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 good. I, that puts a nice little smile on my face. At least his general died. This this might just turn the odds in my favour. I don't I don't I don't think it will. Or at least I'm gonna turn it I think it's a bit too late. But it might just give me a last minute reprieve. I can bring some more Cappadocians forward, at least I one batch reformed. His camels are retreating now. Good. We got that one. Yes, two of them are retreating. Good, 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 good. I'm good at killing camels, but that's, that's two pains in the ass is gone. And no, 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 not now. No, they've gone amok. Ah, you can't control them for long, these fucking scythe chariots. Oh, well. Oh, well, 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 well. I got something out of them at least, but I could have got so much more out of them. And now I'll n I won't get them back. Once once I go a mock, you don't get them back. That's just it. It's like it's like some sort of fucking bomb timer in them. He's reforming now. Right, Cappadocians, link up with a general. You form up here. Make a group. This is this is this is our final battle here. Bastanani, don't don't charge without orders. Bastanani, form up here. We're gonna have your war cry. And then we're gonna then we're gonna get in here because because uh, the Thracians actually are, are a hybrid of a barbarian and Greek faction actually. So and the, these are Thracian mercenaries essentially who all dye their hair green for some reason. But what we can do with these guys, luckily, is since they're uh, part barbarian, part Greek, is we actually have the barbarian ability to do a war cry, which is gonna kick my morale sky high and maybe even frighten these pesky legionnaires. But here we go, final battle. Let's start coming forward. Units. Cavalry, stand ready. On my order, you will Units. be... You will do... You will have to bring an end to this. Now, these guys have high attack value, so this is what I want. We need to we need to win this quickly, but... So what we need to do is, we need to break them. Come on. Now, he's he's bringing his... He's bringing his desert infantry around the flanks. He... I, he's suspecting I'm going to... Go for it. Go bring my cavalry around. But right, come on, guys, get in there. Use use your lovely bastane swords, your big long swords. There we go. We're cleaving some of them away. He's bringing these guys. Oh, come on! Talk about trash tier. Talk about trash tier morale here. Jesus, this is just terrible. He's bringing his cal he's bringing his spears around that flank as well. He's gonna he's gonna try at every opportunity to stop me from getting cavalry in this battle. Right, general. Well, no, this is actually the general's bodyguard. The Cappadocians are broken again. No fucking surprise there. Um, keep moving, keep moving. No, 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 no. He he's caught you. He's caught you. You didn't move fast enough, guys. Get into those legionnaires. Do something for God's sake. You got to fucking break him, come on! It's already our last stand, but some of Bastanane regrouped, right. Get back there and fight for fuck's sake. Your my general is out. fleeing from the enemy! This is a shameful thing for your whole army! <sighs> Even in the general routes. Talk, t just talk about morale in the garbage here, just talk about morale in the garbage. It's like these guys didn't want to fight. I mean, maybe they have attrition from the snow or something, but if they have attrition from the snow, then the new Midian should have attrition from the snow. I mean, come on, they live in they live in Africa. They live in the Sahara. They they they, 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 they should hate this environment just as much as me. 
He's bringing everything forward now. The two more of the Bastanana reform. So right, and fight number three, final fight. The general reformed as well, and I don't think he knows he's reformed. Good, 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 good. If you don't know my general's reformed, I might be able to pull off a nice little sneak surprise. He's gonna get in there before I can even war cry. He's he's gonna make sure I don't get my morale back. General, general. Get in there as fast as you can. Just ride like the wind of a wind if we want to be unintentionally hilarious. Bastanana, get in there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get everything we have in there. Get just... Oh, no, 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 no. He knows. He's, he's noticed. He's noticed. He's noticed. Ah, oh, pain in the asses. And I blame the Bastanana entirely for that just because of their bloody trashy morale. I mean, come on, guys. You guys just do not have... You, you, I've seen Gauls who have a more stomach for a fight than you. Jeez. Man, I am never playing as Pontus in the Grand Campaign, man. Oh, This is just... This is just disastrous. Jesus ah, ah, Christ. Defeat has come. An unwelcome guest indeed. Jesus, man, that was a disaster. That was just a disaster. Oh, oh, right. Where do we begin analyzing this battle? Um, I mean, that was just awful. Um, um, I mean. Sorry, I'm multitasking here. Um, well, I, I I actually don't know where to start. I really don't. I that that is the single worst defeat I have ever had on this game. I mean, there, I've had some bad defeats at the hands of the AI. I've had bad defeats at the hands of Precious Gaming, but this is just awful. Really, really awful. I mean. That was just, that was just terrible. I mean, kills overall poor. No one exceeded. Well, only the, the side chariots exceeded a hundred. Good for them. I mean, it's a shame we lost control, but they contributed because they were powerful. But no, that was just terrible. That was absolutely horrible. It was a pathetic. It was pathetic. It, that's why it was. It was pathetic. I mean, the bronze shield tried to bring some kills. I mean, if this was on small unit scaling, I'd say, yeah, that a good amount of kills, but this is on large scaling. I mean, that enemy brought in a thousand kills. I didn't bring in that many at all, and yeah, that's just it. We lost. We lost. Simple as. I mean, yeah, what that person was putting in the chat, I mean, he wasn't even a guy who just fought, but yeah, well, that was a bust. Well, yeah, that was a total bust. I mean, I only got about 400 kills. And he brought, what, 1,200? I only took a third of his army out. Not good enough. Not good enough. Hopefully the next battle will be a bit better. See you there.